Hello students, I am Marco Severo. This is the Marketing Analytics course. This is part two of the introductory correlation lecture. In the last lecture, we saw some dispersion measures such as skewness, kurtosis, and coefficient of variation. And now we are going to understand how they operate in the bivariate relationship amongst two quantitative variables. Specifically, in this lecture, we are going to first talk about covariance. And then I'm going to present to you the correlation concept with a practical application. The correlation co concept is more popular, but before understanding a correlation, it is important to understand the insights that covariance provides. So this is the basic formula of covariance, and the first thing uh, that is possible to observe is that is the multiplication of the dispersion of two variables. So in this first part of the equation, I have given observations of an x variable minus its mean. So specifically, I am measuring how x varies regarding its mean, and I'm multiplying this by how y varies regarding its mean. So covariance measures the degree to which the values x and y change together. If they move in the same direction, covariance is positive. If they move, if they move in the opposite direction, covariance is negative. If x and y are un unrelated, their covariance is zero. But the problem is that the units of measurement for covariance is unpredictable. And for this reason, we have the correlation, which is a standardized measure. So it's the same as covariance. But in the denominator, I include the, the uh, multiplication between the standard deviations of x and y. So this means that correlation is standardized between minus 1, which is the, strong, uh, the strongest negative correlation between two variables, and plus 1, which is the strong positive correlation between two variables. Uh, the thing about correlation is that uh, as it is a standardized measure, I am able to compare uh, different things. For example, if I have a sales and price variables, two uh, traditional marketing variables, sales and price from beer brands uh, from the 80s, and I have the same variables from beer brands in the year 2000s, and these variables are uh, under some characteristics like currency or inflation in that time, uh, if I apply the correlation co technique, I am able to compare things. I am able to compare, for example, apples and oranges. How, uh, how strong was the relationship between price and, and sales comparing it to this relationship in the year 2000, for example, in the 80s and the year 2000. So this is the good thing about correlation. So this illustration presents different forms of correlation between x and y, and this is the uh, strong positive association or correlation between an x variable and y variable, and this is why the R coefficient is point, uh, 0 0.9, almost 1. And the opposite is uh, uh, minus point 0 0.09, uh, 0 0.9, sorry, uh, a negative strong correlation between x and y. And this means that while I move x uh, away from its mean uh, in a positive way, it means that y moves away from its mean in a negative way. So this is a negative correlation, and the positive correlation is the opposite, okay? Uh, regarding a moderate uh, positive correlation is like this, and a negative moderate correlation is like this. The important thing is the absence of linear correlation, and this is the case of an absence of a linear correlation between x and y. And at the bottom, we also have the absence of a linear correlation, association between x and y, but in this case, the, relation, the relationship is quadratic. 
And this is important because correlation measures only linear relationships between X and Y. So this is important to, to understand. So now let's see how it works in the software. I am going to reproduce. Uh, I am going to reproduce this equation, and we are going to observe how this works using two pairs of variables. Okay. So I'm going to open the the movie Big Six Studios. You are uh, used to this data set. Let me expand this. <coughs> so. We're going to analyze the covariance between two pairs of variables. I have here audience score, word gross revenue, and budget. So I'm going to generate covariance between an audience score and word gross revenue. And I'm going to compare with the covariance between word gross revenue and budget. Okay, always putting word gross revenue as a dependent variable as an Y variable, meaning that it is a result from the Odyssey score or the budget score, okay? Uh, the budget variable, sorry. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to generate dispersion measures for each variable. The first thing I need to do is to generate summary statistics. So this is the mean value of uh, audience score. We saw the summary statistics, the descriptive statistics in the last lecture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add. You need to click on add, define new variable, and I'm going to create a dispersion for audience score, which is equal to audience score minus its mean. Okay, is that right? So this is the dispersion of the variable audience score. If I double click here, I'm going to observe the dispersion for each movie regarding its audience score, comparing to the mean. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, but now with word gross revenue, a double uh, right click with my mouse and then summary statistics, I'm going to retrieve control C in the mean value. I'm going to close here, add define new variable, dispersion word gross revenue equals word gross variable minus its mean, okay? This is the same thing, okay? Uh, if, uh, first let me create the, the same thing for budget, okay? Click here, budget, let me close this window which was open inadvertently. So summary statistics, the mean. I'm going to close here, add, define new variable. So dispersion budget, which is budget values minus its mean. Is that right? So I have the dispersion of each variable, and uh, let's do an exercise here. If I dub, if I click with my right button of my mouse with a frequency distribution and click on OK, so this is the dispersion of the budget variable, and what we observe is that I have more positive values than negative values. So it's, it means that the dispersion measure is moving away from its mean in a positive direction, okay, of the budget variable. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing with the word gross revenue. And now we see the same behavior. Okay, we have more positive values than negative values, which means that word gross revenue is moving away from its mean in a positive direction. <coughs> this will have implications for covariance and for correlation. Now I'm going to apply this formula for each pair of variables, always putting here in the Y. Uh, word gross revenue. If you remind, let me just click here, we have 508 movies, okay? So I have to put this in the equation, in the denominator. What I'm going to do, add, define new variable, covariance between audience score and word gross, okay? Revenue, which is equals, now, I have to open here. I'm going to multiply the dispersions, right? I'm going to close this bracket, 
divided by n minus 1, two brackets here, click on OK. Oh, sorry, something is wrong. Uh, I don't know what it is. No. Uh, oh, it's too long, the name. Let me put here Cov. Sorry, the name is too long, Cov. Uh, I'll put Cov AS. Uh, which is audience score and WG word gross revenue okay and I'll click on okay something is still wrong uh, okay oh I need to close here let's see okay now it's okay so this is the formula right it was too big sorry for that double click here so this is the covariance for each observation, okay? The covariance between audience score and word gross revenue for each movie. I'm going to close here, click with my right button, summary statistics, and this is the average covariance, is a positive covariance between these two variables. And this number uh, is related, okay? is related to the units of measurements of audience score and world, world gross revenue. So what's the problem? The problem is that audience score is, uh, is in points. Uh, if I conduct a frequency, we're going to observe that it's points between 20, the range is between 20 and 90. I'm going to generate the covariance now uh, between Budget and word gross revenue. And we are going to observe what the number is going to be like, okay? So add, define new variable. I'm going to put cov, not so big. So cov, budget, and word gross revenue. So it's going to be equal, open, open, the dispersion of budget times dispersion of word gross revenue close this bracket and put 508 divided by 1. I'm going to put here, OK. So this is the covariance between uh, budget and work gross revenue. And this is in million dollars. So when I generate descriptive statistics, I'm going to have a number which is way higher than this one. OK. So the problem is that the covariance values varies according to the units of measurement so this is covariance and now i have i need uh i need another measure which is correlation that i need to to standardize these var variables values and i'm able to compare them is that right so we're going to see this in the next lecture thank you very much for your attention